Hello, golfers. Welcome back to JD Golf TV, your home for playing better, faster. Today's lesson is on how to hit the three wood. So let's get after it. The first point is don't hit a three wood. Yup, you heard it here first. I'll tell you why. I've got that. That shot went 92 miles an hour. And right here, I hit the optimizer. Now, in TrackMan, the optimizer is telling us how close you hit that ball to as good as you can hit it. And when that thing turns blue, it's cool with you. Trust me. So in this case, I'm hitting a four wood, not a three wood. This baby, this is an awesome Callaway four wood. It is a 16 and a half degree. Okay. And what it turns out at 92 miles an hour, which is about, I probably can get it going a little faster than that. But remember, folks, I'm having trouble getting to 100 now with my driver's swing. So I'm in workout class now. Oh, baby. So anyway, not only do I have an epic speed forward, I have got in it this incredible Ventus shaft. It's the red version. Now, this is going to sound funny, but you see this all over the place on the LPGA Tour and some on the PGA Tour. Lou Yusezen was using this in his fairy wood. This shaft is going to help me launch it the highest of the highs. And this is a really important thing. Uh, this is a 60 gram shaft, it's a stiff flex. This is designed to hit it high. Now, I just got in a 50-gram same version. Might test that out and see what we get, too, to hit it maybe even higher. And if I lighten up the swing weight by lightening up the shaft, I actually may indeed pick up speed. For instance, on my driver, which I absolutely love, when using, I have a, a Aventus Blue mid-trajectory, red, high, uh, white, low. I, the, the, the white one's useless for me. I can't get it in the air high enough to hit it anywhere, which is fine. This one here, uh, high launch. The other one, I had the mid launch. I started with that, and I have a 50S flex and a 60S flex, which I started with. And do you know that when I switch to the 50-gram shaft, my speed goes up by 3 miles an hour? The shaft matters. I don't care what anybody says. It matters a whole bunch we are not robots. We have feel. Got it? Okay. So now, <clears throat> at 92 miles an hour, there is no chance of me hitting a three wood better than that. There's a little chance of me hitting it considerably worse because I just don't have the speed to project the ball high enough. And you can see here from the, the data we have, the ball speed, well, attack angle on the left, was one degree downward. Now, just so you know, you do have to hit downward, scrape the ground at least with your fairway wood, one to maybe up to three down. If I get going more than three down, I'm going to hit the ball too low again. I need to hit just down enough to hit that golf ball just up the face a little bit. If I don't hit down enough, I might get low face contact. That's a worm burner. And I can hit that, by the way. So the Spin loft is the difference between the attack angle and the delivered loft. I hit one degree down, and I brought the club in at, oh my goodness, it must be 16 degrees. Wait a minute. That's the loft of the club. Not shabby. So I get 15.7 in the spin loft. Yay. The ball speed, that's an important number, because I hit that as good as I can hit a golf ball. So the launch angle with that spin loft and attack angle, the launch angle was 12 degrees, yay, right up in that blue window. The spin rate was a little bit low, which is okay. And the height of it was 80 feet. Is that 88? I can't see it that well. 80. Okay, fine. So that's really, really good. <clears throat> I'm going to show you something real quick. I'm going to slow this down a little bit. I know what you're thinking. You're not trying to slow it down, Doug. You just slow. But that's okay. I can handle it. 
we're going to hit this one. I'm going to try to get it somewhere near 85 miles an hour. Well, sorry to disappoint you folks. It was 84.4. Don't ask me how I did that. I just asked it to go slower. What are you going to do? Okay. Now, all of a sudden, I did hit down a little more. I didn't have the shaft quite as neutral an impact as the fuller speed one. The ball speed was super high again. I flushed that, but it didn't go up in the air very high. So it only went 186 yards, where the other one went 217. This is a sign from God. If that is my speed, it's a sign. Get a five wood. The four was not going to go as far as a five wood there. I hope you understand that. It is really, really, really important. So let's talk finally about how to play the shot. Okay. Now, if your golf ball is going to be teed up, ignore that. This is not for that. This is for the ball on the turf. Important shot for some of your long, long par fours and par fives. Well, one, I'm not going to worry about massive amounts of accuracy. I'm trying to hit this as close to the green as I possibly can, which I'm totally cool with, right? And with a four wood, I'm not going to be as accurate as a nine iron, for goodness sakes. So my expectations are somewhere up by the green, darling, it will be just fine. Okay, now we don't want to hit down too much, but we want to hit down. So the ball location is not as far forward as a driver. This is not a driver with a small head. That driver's teed up. I'm actually swinging up two to three degrees on my driver. Totally different setup. And I don't try to swing up my driver. I set up the conditions for the driver. With the driver, I've got the ball way up forward. And I have a little bit of tilt to the right. With the fairway wood, I've got the ball just a little bit inside that. Maybe only half a ball. Okay? If I play it too far back, folks, I'm going to drive this thing straight into the ground. Maybe i hit you one of those too. All right, here we go. So the ball is forward, but not as far as a driver. Okay, I have a fairly neutral spine. I don't like to see a lot of tilt to the right, if at all. A couple degrees is fine with me when that ball is on the ground. Because as I move myself backwards, I move the low point of the swing backwards. No way, no. Unless it's a driver. Because I'm not trying to hit the ground. But if I tilt back at any time in the swing, whether it's set up or downswing, I risk hitting behind it. And if you've ever hit a little drop kick, there you go. Okay. <clears throat> weight is quite neutral. A little bit on the front foot, if anything, but quite neutral and somewhat to the balls of my feet, folks. And then, basically speaking, I'm just going to do my normal iron swing, like a seven iron, and see what happens. Well, I gave you a low face contact one, folks. Poop. Ooh, 93 miles an hour but I didn't hit it solid. And look at that, I lost all that. The other one went 217, but I hit it low on the face. I miss hit the golf ball a little bit. And I went 183 and 90 feet to the left, 30 yards left. That's no bueno. All right, let's try it again. Bounce out there. Yes, even pros miss hit shots. Did you watch the Ryder Cup? Here we go. Okay, that was hit pretty good. Ooh, 138 ball speed. Good golly. There's my 211. Okay, so you can see that one was also from our data. That was a little bit low on the launch. I lost four whole yards because I hit it too low. I did hit down on it. It was a hair thin perhaps, but close to perfect. But you can see if I miss this forward at all, it doesn't go as far. Get me? Now, a five wood is a little shorter, might be even easier to hit, but I'm telling you, I'm right on the verge of hitting this golf ball as good as it could be hit and not so good as it could be hit. So four wood fits my swing speed. My daughter, who by the way can whoop me at golf, doesn't have a three wood or a four wood. She has only a five wood. 
and she hits the poop out of that. But she doesn't have enough speed to make a five would go or a four would go farther than a five would. Now, as she gains speed, she'll be up to a, probably she'll be closing in on ninety five. I think by next year, what I might do is take her loft of her fairy wood and go down one, and maybe try the four wood next year. But right now, she'd be hitting low line drives, and if she had anything to carry and she missed it at all, it's not going. So again. Are you sure you want a three wood? It could be a wasted club in your bag. And by the way, if you have both a three wood and a five wood, you better be on tour. Because most people, most people, folks watching YouTube cannot hit the three wood an inch farther than a five wood. Don't, don't, I, I'm telling you, it's a truth. Remember, I do this all day, every day. Okay. We're going to attempt to get this closer to 100. I may fall apart. A uh, workout class kicked my butt this week. Here we go. All right. So ball position. You do notice that I have my left foot flared out a bunch. My left, my right foot is also flared out. That's to permit more range of motion, turning back and through. Um, anything I can do to make a bigger swing is good for me. All right. Here we go. Boy, that was hit pretty good. And launched higher. There's 219. Okay. I actually hit the poop out of that. Now, it says the spin rate was a little bit low, which could be. But it could be, you know, I'm in a real short room. It's 18 feet, but it's still short. Pretty low. So, folks, I beat the optimizer on that. If you have low spin, you can do that. So that tells you, I only got to 94 trying to hit it hard, folks. All right, wait a minute. One more time. Don't you love these live uh, shots where I can flub it right in front of you? Guess what? I ain't afraid to miss because I've already missed a whole bunch of my life. Hey, from this view and the down the line view, make sure that your hands are not too awful close to you. Give your hands, I like to say, get that glove under your chin, then we could begin. If I get too close to it, I'm going to want to bottom out or I'm going to start really jumping up out of it. And I already have enough of a problem standing up a little bit through impact. Okay, one more for you. Now, to be quite honest, just skim the ground. That was, that was a level attack angle, which is just fine. Skim the ground, bounce a little bit. You don't have to take a divot, but if you took a quarter size divot, wouldn't hurt my feelings one bit. Okay, here we go. Good setup, good ball position. Make sure you're not tilting. Here we go. Okay, that was pretty good. Again, I think a little right, perhaps. Ooh, not sucky. Well, you know what? It wasn't that good. The ball speed went down. I didn't hit it as solid. Okay? But just so you realize, so we're talking about I'm only going to hit at 94 miles an hour. I'm only going to hit this thing 215. Well, 219 was a long one. That's all I got. All right? That's all I got. And I can complain and whine that it's not going far enough, but I'm close enough. That was a little mishit. I'm close enough to the optimizer on a solid hit that the only way this ball goes farther is if I swing faster. And, uh, okay, wait, one more. Here it comes. Dunnigan, you big sissy, let's put the beat down on one. Come on, buddy. You got to have more speed than 94, don't you? Maybe not. All right, here we go. Okay, that's everything I own, 95. Everything I own, 95. And I did hit a little fade. Contact was pretty darn good. I hit it 216 out of a possible 217. Okay, do you get it? So do me a favor. Check your club head speed with your three or four wood. If you're not breaking I think if you're not up there in the 94, 93 range, maybe, I think you better get you a four wood. Then, if it doesn't go high enough, look into the shaft. It's a really big deal. I promise it'll help you. Okay? All right. Get after it, folks.